Hi everyone, in this video we're going to investigate the convergence of the sequence. We're going to try to figure out if it converges or diverges. We're not going to go through the proof, but we're just going to do some work and try to see what we can come up with. So here's the trick. The idea with something like this is to rewrite it. So we have n squared plus n minus n. And the idea is to rationalize the numerator. So we basically multiply by 1 in a clever way as follows. So this is the same thing as this. So we're going to multiply the expression by 1 by the so-called conjugate. So we, we took our sequence and we multiplied it by 1. And now we're going to use the difference of squares formula. So this is a minus b, a plus b. So if you know if you have a minus b times a plus b, that's equal to a squared minus b squared. This is a really important technique. So when you square this one, you get n squared plus n. You square this one, you get n squared. And this is really over 1. So this times this comes over here, so you get square root, n squared plus n, then you have your n. So something like this, the idea again is to multiply by 1 in a clever way, so you rationalize the numerator, so you turn that into a plus and you write it twice. Then it's a minus b, a plus b, which is a squared minus b squared. These cancel, so we're left with n over square root n squared plus n plus n. Now we're going to divide everything by n. In other words, we're going to multiply by 1 over n over 1 over n. Really cool technique. This times this is going to give us 1. This times this, I'm going to do it in steps so you see it. This is n squared plus n over n. 1 over n times n is 1. Let's show another step here. So that times that is that, that times that is that. Now, we, here's the key. You can bring this inside the square root by writing it as n squared like this. And, and if you think about it, it does make sense. Whoops. If you think about it, it does make sense because if you take the square root of n squared, you get n. So this step is perfectly okay. This is equal to 1 over n squared over n squared is 1. So this is 1 n over n squared is 1 over n. You have your 1. At this point, it becomes clear. This approach is 1 over 1 plus 0 plus 1. That's 1 over 1 plus 1, so it's 1 half. So the answer is yes. This sequence does converge, and it does converge to 1 half. So I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who's working on these types of problems or if you encounter something like this. Now you know the general strategy is to always rationalize the numerator. That's it. Take care.